welcome to the part 3 of this lesson you can see here it's written tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn in this globe so we'll understand what it is first if you see there is one thing common in both the figure which is 23 degree 30 minute north okay the one which is towards north it's written not, not there and the name is tropic of cancer and the one which is towards south it is written uh, tropic of capricorn for that one okay which is 23 degree 30 minutes south uh, this area okay this area receives perpendicular sun rays okay it receives perpendicular sun rays it means it receives straight sun rays and uh, that's the reason it's hot in this particular area it receives perpendicular sun rays for two days in a year okay and other areas receive slanting okay you can see i have drawn uh, uh, i've drawn that on the screen it receives slanting sun rays so the one which is here okay this area uh, this area can have uh, i mean you can see sun rays up till uh, 24 hours in this particular area okay and uh, the area which receives most slanting rays this one which is also called arctic circle you can see sun rays for more than 24 hours depending upon uh, the season you know it uh, that particular place has and uh, there can be day for six months in arctic circle okay six months there can be day uh, and six months there can be night in this particular region in this particular uh, area yeah and exactly opposite if you see there is antarctic circle so if there is day in arctic circle if this area is experiencing day for six months then this area would uh, experience night for six months okay and uh, we will learn why uh, this um, six month of day and six month of night as we read further okay the parallel at 66 degree north and south of the equator are also important parallel in the area between these two parallel throughout the year daytime last within the limit of 24 hours okay it says between these two parallels okay like i told you earlier here it's 66 degree 30 minute north rt circle so this is the area between okay between tropic of cancer and between arctic circle this you can see sun rays here for uh, within the limit of 24 hours okay and this area the arctic circle it can be more than 24 hours depending upon the season and uh, depending on the season daytime sun being visible in the sky okay we are referring daytime it means sun is visible in the sky can be greater than 24 hours in the areas between the polar circle and the poles so which is the area between the polar circle and pole so arctic circle is the polar circle okay arctic circle is the polar circle and pole is this one so this is the area between polar circle and pole okay so sun can be visible for more than 24 hours an appearance in the sky can be of six months at the poles based on the season okay uh, we learned this earlier so now during this period the sun continues to move in spiral spiral means it continues to move in circle on the horizon okay so it uh, continues to move in circle 
and let's read further we have seen in standard fifth that the earth's axis is inclined we have learned earlier that it's inclined and its uh, inclin inclination is 23 degree 30 minute we'll understand uh, what they mean by 23 degree 30 minutes if you see this globe here yes this globe is in circle we know that but uh, if you look um, the way the globe is placed okay it is not placed in a straight way it is little in a tilted way if we place the globe in a straight way okay in a straight way uh, this will be like something okay the start of the globe will be here if it's placed in straight way but it's placed uh, in a tilted way that's the reason you see the south pole here okay instead of being here the south pole is here because it's in tilted way and it has been done purposely the globe is whenever you purchase a globe you will find the globe in this particular way because that's the original form of our earth our earth is in tilted way okay so uh, suppose if it was uh, straight okay if it was straight in that case uh what will be the tilted major okay so it ha the angle has been taken and the angle is 23 degree 30 minutes okay okay that's what we see here it says inclination by 23 degree 30 minute because uh, earth is tilted it's uh, not straight and the uh, angle which it forms is 23 degree 30 minutes okay and uh, i'll explain you one more thing uh, why there is six month uh, uh, in polar region six month of day and six month of night okay if you see this globe you'll see the uh, globe of the earth is in tilted way because the north pole and the south pole is not kept straight it's little tilted okay so whenever there is a sun rays which uh, which passes through earth okay uh, if south pole okay the south pole is receiving sun rays in that case the north pole will be in darkness so that's the reason uh, there is six month of day in south pole in that case there will be six month of night in north pole it means six month of night in arctic circle then six month of day in antarctic circle due to the duration and intensity of sunlight different temperature zones are form formed on the earth these zones give rise to temperature pressure belt okay it means uh, the sun rays is not equal like we have seen it's perpendicular it's slanting here so it's not equal because of which some area you can say this is hot this is warm this is cold okay so the wind or the pressure of the air in this area will be different and that's what forms a pressure belt so the air pressure is different in this area because of the sun rays and that uh, gives rise to pressure belt variation in the intensity of sunlight leads to regional diversity so because of the variation in sunlight there is a pressure belt now second thing there is regional diversity in plant and animal life so yes the animal which we see in area like rajasthan in desert camel and all and uh, the animal which we see in uh, area where there's a snowfall like you know in america you will see um uh, in polar region you will see a bear uh you know uh, penguin and all uh, so those uh, animals are not found here that's because of the variation in sunlight in those areas let's read further the zero degree longitude of prime meridian is an important meridian the main purpose of this is to fix the global standard time and coordinate the standard time of different countries 
yes we learned it earlier that the main purpose of prime meridian is to learn uh, to fix the global standard time so that uh, you know whenever we do a trade uh, we are exporting anything to our other country and uh, in that case we don't have any confusion in terms of time okay and uh, in terms of time because if there is day in uh, like you know america if there is night in india so we uh, so this help us to stand uh, to get a standard time of different countries which is also called greenwich meridian global standard time is known as gmt greenwich mean time the 180 degree is also important from the prime meridian other meridians are marked east and west up to 180 degree so prime meridian is 0 degree and from 0 degree like east and west is divided okay and uh, so it says the 180 degree meridian lies opposite to the prime meridian so the prime meridian is here suppose so opposite to this you will find the 180 degree meridian the international date line is marked with reference to this meridian the equator as well as all pairs of opposite meridian form great circle so yes we have seen that the equator is this one and the all the form of meridian what they form they form great circle so a globe uh, the graticals which we see if we uh, include everything okay include all equator and meridians that we can call that as a great circle great circle are used for finding the minimum distance between any two places on the surface of earth okay now we'll understand this thing um, vatican city it is the smallest city uh, in the world okay and uh, it is in Itan italian peninsula okay the entire kilometer of the city is 0.44 square kilometer so uh, here we are seeing this map of this particular city just to understand that there can be a small difference between the latitude and longitude if you see the uh, longitude okay let's say the longitude here you can see 12 degree 21 minute 30 seconds east exactly same thing you can see a here as well 12 degree 21 minute but there's a difference in second it's 0 second and here it's 30 seconds okay so there's very small difference in the seconds 41 degree 54 minute 0 second north so this is the latitude and let's see difference you can see here the difference is in seconds uh okay so earlier we saw it was 0 second and here it's 30 seconds north 41 degree 54 minute and 30 seconds north so in future we can come across such cities where you will see difference just in second so you don't have to get confused okay this is also possible right so we have completed this lesson thank you If you like then please share and subscribe thank you